Today, the Illinois House is expected to take a vote that could impact Chicago's school board. If approved, the new plan would mean that the city would not have a fully elected school board. NBC5 Santa Torres joins us live here in studio to break down these proposed changes. Sandra. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit of background. So three years ago, Governor Pritzker signed a bill phasing the elected school board. Well, the teachers union, the Chicago Teachers Union, was one of the strongest advocates for that plan. Now they switched their position. So the CTU is now lobbying for a more hybrid plan, meaning 10 school board members will be elected by residents, while the mayor would be responsible to appoint 10 board members plus the school board president. Many are questioning the CTU's motives. Now that their former member is the city's mayor, this plan would give the mayor the authority to appoint the majority of the members. I, too, am a proponent of the fully elected board, but this is what we've got, and I think that we've got to run with this and get this done. I understand this compromise that we are um, looking at today is really based on making sure we had the time to get this right. So the Senate approved the hybrid plan on Tuesday. Now the Illinois House is expected to do the same today. The CTU says they are not commenting about this new hybrid plan vote at this time.